Hey guys, glad you could join me back at Lawrenceville Garage. You know, going through this whole process of swapping LS motors into the uh, 88 to 98 Chevy OBS trucks, there's a lot of little things that you begin to take for granted. There's also a lot of little things that are never shown in videos, and you may not realize it until you get to it, to that point, that it's like, how do I do this? What do I do? What, you know, you, you need some, uh, information that you haven't been able to find and I wanted to make a quick video of that won't take a lot of your time to watch but it will save you hours on your project. Let me give you a good example of what I'm talking about. On the 91 Chevy shop truck we were adapting the older style manual transmission that came with the 91 to the LS base motor. Well one of the small things that was different was the flywheel cover plate or dust shield as some people call it. This is what went on the manual transmission with the 4.3. This will not work with the LS motor. The way it's designed is completely different. It's thicker. It's just not going to work. Now, on the LS based motors, and in this case, the automatic transmission, because that's what was on the 5.3 when we pulled it from the Suburban, this is the piece of trim that mounted on the driver's side of the engine block, or more precisely to the oil pan to cover this hole that would be on this side that would expose the flywheel. On the passenger side of the motor, it's a little different. From the 5.3, this is the trim that came on the motor with the automatic transmission, and it has a hole for the starter, but it clearly won't work because we need a hole for the slave cylinder as well. So what to do? Well, this will not fit with the 5.3 at all. So I took this, lined it up exactly so, scribed a line, used my cutoff wheel, cut it, and notched it a little bit more at the bottom to clear the oil pan. Now let's see if these will work. This is the driver's side of the motor and you can see the part of the bell housing that exposes the flywheel. This is the trim that goes in place. It goes right up here like this. So we'll put the bolt in and tighten it up. And we'll put the plate in place. And that's installed. If you came across that issue with your swap, I hope you found the tip helpful. If you liked it, please provide a thumbs up. We sure appreciate that. Subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.